Um, I want to thank the 45th Space Wing, uh, another mission partner here. I want to thank the FAA. Steve, appreciate all your support. And Sasaki-san, I wanted to thank you as well for both coming and participating, but also for allowing Suichi to fly on, on a Dragon. Um, I want to thank uh, SpaceX employees who have worked tirelessly, hard and tirelessly, uh, through pretty extraordinary times. Um, they continue to amaze me, and uh, I'm so proud of them. So I wanted to thank them for that as well. Um, could not be more proud of the, of the work that we've all done together here today. Uh, Falcon 9, looked, the launch looked beautiful. I don't have any specifics on any anomalies that we had, which is great. Uh, we'll get more data uh, as we go. Dragon was dropped off roughly 12 minutes into the mission into a beautiful orbit, uh, and she's operating just fine, all systems nominal. Um, executed a burn, and uh, I think there's two more to go. Uh, we approach the space station in a little over 24 hours from now. Um, and then uh, we'll be able to breathe a sigh of relief um, 26 or so hours from now, once we hand the crew over to NASA. Um, in the next 15 months, we should be flying roughly seven Dragon missions. Uh, and this mission represents the initiation of a Dragon in orbit continuously, knocking on wood. Um, and uh, certainly is uh, really the beginning of a new era in human spaceflight. So thanks very much. So Elon was tied in very closely to the launch. I have a series of texts to prove it. Um, as, as usual, he, regardless of where he is on the planet, uh, he is uh, watching closely and providing uh, guidance and support. You know, I'm a horrible predictor. I never, I never get it right. So I think what you can count on is what I say uh, won't be right. Um, Obviously, we, have, uh, we expect to have flights from Boeing upcoming, but I, I don't think you're asking about the existing providers. I think you're talking about new ones. This is a tough business to break into. Um, I wouldn't expect any in the next five years, um, but hopefully within 10, there'll be uh, plenty of folks doing this kind of work um, to make it uh, more accessible to more folks. So uh, I believe we did count uh, one commercial mission in there, but uh, I don't want to do math in public. I will f call you if I got that one wrong. Um, the, uh, we'll, be ha we'll be flying uh, the Crew 2 mission uh, in about four and a half months, um, and then uh, Crew 3 roughly possibly six months later. Um, we do hope to fly a commercial mission with Axiom. Um, and. Um, you know, maybe some, some other fun missions, which I'll chat about later. <laughs> we closed the hatch the first time, uh, and uh, the capsule did not uh, pass its leak checks. So we opened it um, and took a look at the seals, um, did a, a, a look, found a little bit of FOD, cleaned that up, adjusted the seals, and uh, reclosed the hatch. Uh, and the Dragon capsule passed uh, its leak check. Yeah, so I was hedging a little bit. I, I did check my phone, and the seven missions I was talking about were all for NASA, uh, CRS 21 through 24, and three crew missions. Um, but I was hedging just in case, um, just in case one of those doesn't go uh, to include a, a, a commercial mission between now and then. Oh, how many Dragons in production? Thanks, Steve. You want to... So we have uh, the Demo-2 Dragon uh, is in the uh, refurbishment process uh, to fly um, Crew-2. Uh, Dragon, there's a Dragon capsule, uh, well, there's also the CRS-21 capsule. Um, I think there's two more dra um, uh, cargo capsules after that, and we will have three additional Crew Dragon capsules, I believe. And most, they're, they're all to some extent in production right now.